Hey, welcome to this quick tutorial on how to create a multicam edit in Adobe Premiere CC. Now, if you're watching this tutorial on YouTube, there'll be some links underneath this video where you can download some clips which you can use in your own uh, project to help learn how to do a multicam edit. So it's a full camera edit. Or if you're doing this in one of my classes, you can do this off the VLE and you'll be able to download them that way. Or YouTube, whichever way you fancy. Now, I'm going to assume you know how to set up a project or start up a project in Premiere. You'll notice that the project that we're looking at now on my screen has no sequence or anything. It's just a straight up project which I've just started. And what I'm going to do is go to File, Import, and wherever you've saved your multi camera footage, I'm going to select all four and press Open and import it. Now, I haven't created a sequence yet, and what we're going to do is we're going to merge these all into one sequence and Premiere CC has some fantastic new features now for syncing up footage because if you can imagine you've filmed four different clips off different cameras they've probably started at different sequences, different time settings um, and you want to get the audio so it's the same between all four of them this is actually what we're looking at here um, so we've actually got um, some blues guitar going on and we need to make sure that they all sync up to when they strum now, if you've ever seen clapper boards on film sets, um, that's what they try to do. So they'll record the audio separately. When you hear the clap, you'll see a visual aid as well as an audio spike on a separate audio track. Now, this actually does use a clapper board at the beginning. And one of the advantages of that is, is there's going to be a spike in the audio that you can use to sync up. Premiere CC has some fantastic new features which does this automatically for you as well, as well as some other different ways around it. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to select from our project window all four of the clips and right click on them and create a multi-camera source sequence. Now if I was to select one of them, it won't come up as an option. So I select all four, or at least more than one, and create a multi-camera source sequence. Once I've done that, I've got these different ways of synchronizing the video to ensure that they actually sync up between all four of them. Um, you can use in points from each clip. So I could have set an in point on each clip and then when I import the video and tell it to synchronize to in points, all the in points will meet up. Same for out points. If you're using time code on cameras, um, you know, if you're using DSLRs, the chances are you're probably not using time code, but you might use some cameras that are using time code and you'll be able to sync that up. Um, you could also include clip markers, so you could just put a little point in as a clip marker and that will sync up as well and you can decide which clip, ma clip marker syncs up. Uh, we're going to be using audio and you can even have a separate audio track here as well that you could use um, n which isn't included in the video to sync up. But our audio is included in all the video here. So I've got audio here and what it's going to do is it's now going to process the video and look at where the spikes in the audio are. So I'm going to click OK, and now it's processing, trying to find out where the key points are that it's going to sync up. Now the clapperboard at the beginning of it will be the key point. You may hear my computer fan, uh, well my laptop fan, processing a bit harder there. Now here down here, if I double click on this, I've now got all four of the videos in this multicam view. Now this is in the source window here. If I press play, you should see now that, if I just fast forward it a little bit, there we go. And you can see how well Premiere has synced those pieces of footage, because those clips aren't exactly the same length. So it's done a really good job of syncing that up. But I can't add, edit this yet. Even though I can see it's four clips here, I need a timeline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this multi-camera um, clip into a new sequence. And here I have a new sequence. Now, if I press spacebar, it'll only show me the camera that's on the top at the moment. If I want to change between it, I can use four keys now. I can use the button one, two, three, and four. If I go to 2, you can see I flick to this um, view here, flick to 3, flick to 4. And it's not representative of what's in the source window here. 
so I need to see what's going on at the time. Now down here, you can see I've already been playing around with this, I've got these two buttons here, but they might not appear on your windows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get those. And what you do is you use this little plus symbol down here called the button editor. And that's what this brings up, and it brings up a whole load of different functions you can actually use. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the multi-camera view down here, and I've already got the record on off button down there, but you could bring that down if you want, and press OK. And then I go into multi-camera view by just clicking on it, and now I have these windows here. And all you've got to do to start editing is I'm going to take it right back to the beginning, press start, or press spacebar rather. And now I could just use the buttons one, two, three, and four. So all I'm doing at the moment is I'm just changing between buttons one and four. Now press spacebar to stop it and you can see the edits have already been included. Now, that was very rough, but essentially I can now come along and I could change, say if I wanted this camera to be a different one, I could change it, I can either change it by just clicking on the clip up here, or I can change it by the number as well, and I can alter what was happening, so I might change that to camera 3. I could come along here, this clip here, maybe I want to go to the wide shot camera 1. And that's basically how you make a multi-camera edit, so it's really simple. You could basically get four cameras together, you know, do a really long shoot, and it would normally take you ages to edit together. Instead, Premiere has this fantastic function now which allows you to put all this footage together and edit it so quick that your client could get um, feedback, or you could get feedback from your client very quickly on a project that you're working on. So really good for live events, really good for fast turnaround, things like festivals, things like corporate events, very good for. And overall, it's a really fantastic time-saving feature in the new Premiere CC.